Here we are on the mall again with Matthew from Chewy. Looking forward to doing this fantastic fish dish. So I'm going to hand it over to you, buddy. Tell us what the dish is for a start. It's basically just, it's a fairly simple roast sea bass fillet uh, with courgette and basil puree or emulsion. Bit of yeah. good olive oil in there and crushed potatoes with uh, seaweed and we touch of butter. This is a bit I'm looking forward to, the seaweed potatoes that yeah. most people probably have never even tried. It's going to be delicious. Seaweed's from where? Uh, Peninsula Kelp Co. So it's a husband and wife uh, team, they go out. Has to be down strength for somewhere there? Yeah, yeah it is. And so they go out and, and harvest it themselves, dry it, mill it, and we get it direct from them straight into the restaurant. Would you like one of my stories? <laughs> I can tell you a story. This is the funniest story ever, right? We had this, and Ben, you can keep rolling here. We, 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 had a, we had a kids party, cooking party about four years ago before the pandemic. And it was like, all these kids were from Kilkeel, you see, right? Yeah. And they were all 12, 13, 14 year olds from a school. Brilliant crack and all. And um, then we were talking about, you know, bacon and stuff. And this week, our pie shop was just, I said, what about seaweed? Because the kids really, you know, you get. She says, don't you, says me, don't you talk to me about seaweed? I says, what do you mean? He says, the whole summer months, my trampoline yeah. turns into a dryer for seaweed. Jesus. <laughs> so the daddy comes in with the yeah. seaweed, fires it on the trampoline, and in a year I can't use the trampoline yeah. all summer. All summer, which is all summer. So that's what, yeah. I don't know if that's just a trampoline <laughs> one, but I have the three girls reagent, you know? So there you go, you can start it. Yeah. Basically we're going in peeling the courgettes first. Okay. Top and peel them. Would you like me to peel them for you? Are you yeah, you, why you, not? Are you, you <laughs> making work? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you work away with it. So we're peeling these first. Um, so why do we not just, this is a question even for myself. Yeah. Why do we not just slice them and I am. Um, so we're going to cook the centres of them, they'll take longer to cook and you would lose the nice vibrant green from the so outside. So want to keep the core full here? Yeah, and we're going to add that back in basically when the insides are cooked and ready to be blended. And that's why when you go to your restaurants like Shoe and brilliant people like that and you see these lovely green purees and you wonder how they've done it. Yeah, not because they don't ever cook things. And you use ice a bit too. Yeah, yeah in the restaurant we've got ice down straight away. So you want to yeah. cook it as quickly as you can. Straight in the ice. And then get it cold again as, as quickly as you can afterwards. And parsley's always a good fella. Yeah, like spinach. parsley or spinach. I've yeah. Really spinach that, spinach yeah. gets a great colour, doesn't it? Definitely. So, I've got this pan on and I'm just going to slice it. So, new potatoes, we're just using straightforward new potatoes? Straightforward, yes. We put cold water, we put salt. Yeah, a bit of salt and then we just put it in. Yeah, that's just it. Just taking over? Yeah. Exactly. That's, a, that's a thing too, Matthew, you probably wouldn't realise, it's just with me with the kidneys going. Yeah. Most people don't know you start a red fish on the cold water. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's amazing. Away, the hot water out of the kettle. It amazes me. So. Right, so that's going to I don't need to give you any knife skills lessons, so you're <laughs> okay. So we should have a bit of oil. So what temperature were you at? You want it pretty, pretty hot, so you do, because you want basically as soon as yeah. you start going. Smell the olive oil now? Yeah. Good olive oil. Okay. There you go. Oh, it's good then. Oh, my God, is. is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. So, and that part of salt there and other things just kind of hard below me, but the salt. That's really important there. Yeah. Not only for flavour, but that's going to pull all that yeah, moisture out. Yeah, pull moisture out and help yeah. you cook them. So basically, you want these cooked as, quick, you're cooking as quickly as you can. Yeah. yeah. To retain the flavour and the freshness. So those people out there who are anti-salt, don't be anti-salt, just use the right flavour. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know? You end up using less as well if you use it at the start. So what do we do with these fellas here? What happens with these? We're going to wait until these are almost cooked, then we're going to add those in, because they will only take a couple of minutes to cook at the very end. They will only take about even 30, 40 seconds. With you're, a bit of spinach. You're telling me if I live in the restaurant, you would have them separate, ready to go into that and then we blend it? I consider every bigger batch in the restaurant, yeah. so you would have a, bit, a massive pot with a bigger surface area, and then you would have considerably more skins. Yeah. So we would then saute those down separately and add them together just before you blend. So really in the shoe, when you're cooking, 20 the, days. The KP is not like the full skin. Oh, exactly, yeah. Or they're going <laughs> to give maybe a, a courgette around the back of the head. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, I remember uh, Matthew when I was I was working for a, a private family at one stage as mm -hmm. our chef, and they always wanted a sorbet course. Yeah. In between our dinner, 
and the girls, the girl who was on the, the on the plants on the dishes that yeah. night, didn't realise like this big pot I had was a sugar syrup. Yeah, <laughs> with gin in it and fresh juniper syrup, and I went over to put it in the sorbet machine just before because we used to do kind of yeah aluminium. Yeah, just before, and um, it was gone. It was in the, in the sink. Yeah. The worst one we had, there was a guy who just made chicken stock and drained it in the stock pot. Oh, the left of the bones? In the, yeah, so Thank it goes you. frothy yeah. on top. And KP came and threw the bucket of stock across the floor to wash the floor. <laughs> <laughs> wash the floor? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a double one because you're a greasy floor. Yeah. So, okay. I'm still moving. Well, I'm going to put just a splash of water in there. Sure. So, we bit of water, we bit of steam. Yeah. So, no garlic in this. No, no garlic, just straight forward, wee, yeah, straight, straight yeah. forward. I love it. The crowd you pleaser know. one, then we can use that puree as well on our vegan menu and stuff like that yeah. because it's just handy and there's no butter, no yeah. no egg, nothing in that. Nothing so, straight forward. it's adaptable I, for allergies and you have it there, kind of yeah. ready to go. Yeah, it's one of the things we always have ready. And then you can you can create dishes out of it as well. Absolutely. For people with dietary requirements or allergies or yeah. Plus, well, seasonal. It's, it's just it's, it's probably you use. I mean, I'm probably use like a little tartlet with that on the base. Yeah, well, I've done that as a canapé as well. That yeah, on well. a cracker. I was doing, playing about Quite last week crack, were you? with um, charcoal crackers that we were making and Good a bit of that puree Colors and it was peas and jerrolls yeah. in it as well. Work. So yeah. probably peas and feta cheese are lovely too. Do you want to get your cost down, chef? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll just let that cook down a bit. Okay. And well, we'll start so, cooking whenever that's going in the blender, we'll start doing the fish. And you were telling me an, un an unusual way to cook sea bass, which is kind of... Yeah. You're teaching me something. <laughs> because what's happened, I think, in the last kind of 10 years, that there's been different approaches to food. Yeah, I think um, been a, lot of, a lot of the things people thought you had to do it. Where I would, I'm, I'm the old school, yeah. where I would have to have my pan sitting on a good smoke. No, so I started like it's not, and you're not going a cold opposite? pan, but you know it's like it's kind of like the fat, yeah. Really? yeah. And then we start that, so a bit of oil in there, in with the sea bass, and then and you then bring, bring the temperature it up. of it up. And what had to happen is like you might have seen whenever your pan's too hot, you put the sea bass in, it curls up, curls up, and yeah. you end up crispy on the edge. That's right. And then it's but the skin is not crisp in the middle. Whereas if you do it yeah. this way, not a cold pan, but like warm, not hot, yeah. and bring it up. The, the the skin then crisps evenly across. Kind of like you do duck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you end up well, with a crisp I'm, skin all across the duck. I'm interested well. to see this today. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you hear me teaching next week how to cook fish, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be saying, you'll, you'll know <laughs> that it was you. I want to cut. <laughs> <laughs> you want to cut. And your girlfriend's been to couple of my classes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just trying to convince him to come to my class. <laughs> and I said, make sure you go to a class that you don't know anything about. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> like no, there isn't that many. <laughs> but, yeah. but you said you like to come for a bit of crack. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit of crack if nothing yeah. else. So. We've had a few chefs in, yeah. their partners. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm surprised. <laughs> Back again. I, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised that um, they enjoyed it. They yeah. So. so. Push me on their pressure a bit. A bit. <laughs> uh, hello. Right, so we're getting out of these. So what are we doing now? Are we ready for the ready for oh, those? We're ready to add the greens in, and then I'm gonna start cooking the fish as well. Do you want to crush those potatoes actually while we're waiting? Yeah, I'm and trying them. Absolutely. There's some lemon there for them. Lemon butter and a bit of seaweed. Oh, I'm gonna run that. I'll be that. Emma. That's why I'm used to a lot more space. <laughs> ah, you get used to it, you know, it's kind of... I remember a long, long time ago, and this person freaking me to cook at their home. Uh -huh. And talking about space, and I went into the home. Not the name who it was. And let's say they weren't very tidy. <laughs> and the kitchen was covered in everything, the clothes and everything. And the only thing I could prep on, wait here, this one, was the ironing board. Jesus. So I prepped the whole mm -hmm. meal on this ironing board because I didn't have time to clean their kitchen floor. Yeah. And you would have thought somebody come to your house, you would have cleaned it up a bit. <laughs> so, um, so that was good crack. So that's a challenge. So you'll get more of these challenges, the more of these demos you do. Yeah. Chef. Yeah. <laughs> the more challenges you'll get. Mm -hmm. 
So this is luxury. Well, <laughs> at least the first one hasn't been too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What type of oil is that? So it's just a it's good quality olive oil. Good quality. Yeah. But veg oil or anything really at this stage because it, you know it's more of a finishing oil really. Okay, and sea salt that is? Yeah, it's Malden salt. Malden salt and salt's the best. Which? Malden sea salt. You get in all, all your shops. What's this? this, this Malden's a place in England. Um how, what's that's there? Yeah. All the decent chefs use Malden sea salt all over the world now, by the way, too. Um, there's just a wee place in England called Malden. And you'll buy it in the centuries. Yeah, you buy it anywhere. Tennis for centuries. Yeah, they all do. have it. A wee box, green and white box. Is it healthier than Himalayas? Well, see, taste wise, it's, it's pure and like there's no. Like, uh, I'm a believer Himalayan salt is pretty curing of things. That's my thoughts. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Curing things. And, oh, okay. Yeah, drawn out, but people could argue that with me, but I, I believe it. that that's what it's for. I, I don't like to see pink salt in my food, just no. me, don't know why, it's just, I'm not a fan. But you're showing your age. Salt. Show me age. <laughs> my weirdo, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a bit of lemon and a bit of that seaweed is... Seaweed? Yeah. We'll put a wee bit of seaweed in there, so then I got seaweed potato. This and the seaweed. It's a place, it's Peninsula Market. Kelpco. They're, it's in, they're at they're on St George's Market, or they're on Instagram as well. But it's a husband and wife thing. They go out diving for it. And it has a mixture of dollars and sea What's lettuce the in there. You should have just that wee touch of lemon and that potato. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive difference, doesn't it? it? Just changes things. It's a game changer. Um, I like that one, like you can see dried dollars and stuff used a lot, but that's like a wee mix of a couple of different blends. There's the sea lettuce in there as well, it's just a nice addition. And we'll just leave a wee bit of that on top too, when yeah. we're serving it, so. Is my crushed potatoes satisfactory, Chef? Yeah, they look alright. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go blend this puree then. Us old boys are very nervous around these young, <laughs> young clubs, you know. Should really be the other way around. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, and you can... That's in there, so we've sauteed down the courgettes, added the skins, adding a wee bit of basil now as well. This one is loud now. Salty sour. Salty sour. Mammy, please. Mammy, yeah. Yeah, it does. Is it real? Kids are lovely. I'm loving the potatoes themselves. Okay. What is that amazing? Yeah, because they are the same. And the flowers, you get the flowers when the flowers are. The flowers are still out, yeah. We're using the flowers at the minute. The flowers are brilliant. As a starter. Oh, good. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we Fun with tempura, cheese? tempura the whole flour and stuff them with goat's cheese, like a goat's cheese mousse. Brilliant. So here we go, we've got our... You can see the crisp coming on there? Yeah. See the protein change in here? If you want to cook it, I would normally go to about 85% cooked on this side, then flip yeah. it over and hit it with a bit of lemon as well, the steam. A wee bit of steam, that's off fun, is it? Yeah. So you can see it here coming up, and then so we'll let that go for another bit. Flip it over, hit it with lemon juice, and the steam will just finish the fish off nicely, so it's not... I'll make sure this isn't sticking too bad. You all right, Chef? It's work? Yeah. No problem. So see there as well, it's like the, the entire surface of the... It hasn't, it hasn't curled up on itself. Like Stephen said, we should cook it. Yeah. <laughs> do you know, I'm just thinking too, do you know what? Uh, if you try and cook... I don't know if you've... Have you, cooked, have you ever cooked Snapper? Uh, yeah, a couple of times. Disaster? Yeah, yeah, it's the, you pretty much they have to stand with it and hold it. Real. So this is kind of maybe... I haven't cooked a snapper in years. Oh, yeah. But I remember trying to use a bit of cheap face once for a lunch. Yeah. And uh, it just goes like this. Turns up like a... Yeah. It's like an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> turns up. Just turns up. 
But I bet you, if you've done it like that, that would really work. Did you want more butter now? Are you happy with that? I would add a bit more, but... Yeah, I was being all healthy. Yeah. Get in here. Oh, that's crazy. Really, like... Probably shouldn't say Lidl. Go to the Lidl. Huh? Lidl. <laughs> that's the cheapest one you've got. What are you getting? Yep. Really? Yep. No, no, it's butter. That's probably cheaper than what I'm saying in the restaurant. Cheaper than your band? Uh, definitely. Like, you, you should know, be going over we, a bank. We're getting a 100 kilo, or a 25 kilo block. You should be But we're going through. Yeah. See, I remember when it went over 100 quid, that was like a big thing for a 25 kilo block for us, but it's 135 now. Three and eight, Lidl, last it's week. crazy. Our bakery classes, we use a lot of butter upstairs. So you have to watch your pennies, don't you? Like? <coughs> but in there, it's near fiber, 480. Right. Lovely oh. chef. Pretty much us, yeah. And then if I need one of those trays, so I don't know. Can we, um, huh? So your puree is ready? Puree is ready, yeah. Potatoes are ready. Where's our fish? Love it. Let me show off for a bit of that. Good convert to me. There we go. That's a better finished skin. There's no doubt. Should you do one, one yeah. that way? Yeah, I'm going to have two plates and then I can yeah. stop and have their dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole part of the gig, you know. <laughs> That's how you get them to do it for you. I don't have my uh, my spoons. Spoons make a massive difference. The spoons Imagine you're your used spoon. to. I know. <laughs> and the ones you're not. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much us. Love it. Mm -hmm. And a wee bit of finishing oil or no? A wee bit of oil, oh, yeah. Yeah. Did that, gang. There we go. Chef, smash that. And then you change it, don't you? Lovely, love it. Um, bit of modern tw twist on things there, but as you can see, when you know what you're doing, keeping it simple. Yeah. It's brilliant. That's a lovely dish. Okay.